have to buy a second salve yeah. this early on and you're not actually getting farm. Like if you're trading regen for farm, it's one thing, but he's trading regen just for XP at this point. The farm is not going with the uh, the regen. Yeah, and down in the bottom lane, Ramsey's uh, finding the same CS as uh, All right, yep. Zowie up top. Uh, MSS is actually going in pretty aggressively, giving uh, Ramsey. He's got another photic shield. Yeah. yeah, I guess he won't dive. I mean, that looks like some good pressure, but realistically, Jug's like just trying to find an opportunity to use the salve. Ah, so like, top lane, yeah. Yeah, take it down. Okay. MP picking themselves up. The fl first blood. As uh, certainly just when you go which build. But imagine for uh, mid lane or Pasha smoke coming in, looking for envy. The trap slows him down. Yeah, knocking him out with a flame break into the lasso, and envy taken down. Of course, uh, first kill for VP, but it's a big one. Um, further pushing MV bar. VP playing this early game very passively, but it's kind of one of those things where VP is not really a passive team as a whole. Like I wouldn't say that's their play style, but when you're winning the lanes this hard, why why go for kills when you're just out farming your opponents? Yeah. Oh, you nicely done up top. Yeah, Again. It's nice, nice kill, but realistically, like you're still dominating the lanes. I think VP feel that with how far their TA is and how how much they're back. Bat has Tranquil's drugs farming the jungle. They are crushing NP right now, even without getting kills at all. Yeah, obviously the, the strength at the moment for MP is in Aoi. He is still up there. He, he's ahead of Ramses, uh, but there's a lot of weight on his shoulders. Top lane, talking yeah, about the man. Too. The tower getting denied in front of his nose and himself to fall as well. And uh, obviously that, that that is the pain for MP because that is the hero that they're relying on. They're relying on Aoi to carry them through this game on this one. Chash in bottom though. Did they get away with a little kill, falling over the Omni stash, coming in on the back lines, Ramses. And they can't even get Lil. Second hero. MSS does have the ult. So we'll be able to tank up some of the tower hits. It's a good, decent amount of heal. But they'll just chase this forward. Ramses getting in position with the Blade Fury. They get the Abaddon. on. It's a triple kill for Ramses. In fact, with that charger, can they get 1437 now? Looks like he's a little too speedy. They can't chase him down. But giving Ramses a triple kill. That's, that's dangerous it's, territory here for MP. It's not good. It's going to be a very quick blink used, follow yeah. up as well for no one by, you know, yeah. th at this rate. He's already on 1400 on top of the Desso. And uh, they may just find themselves a bit of action. They've got a lasso onto Wolf 37. He'll turn with a quick charge, but they've got the Fire Blast holding him in the Firefly. He doesn't get the chance off for the Nether Strike. As that is going to be 1437 falling down. Another kid lane though, no one putting the pressure in. TPs will come through, a charge as well onto the TA. No one could be in trouble here. Telekinesis back. They have the stolen blade fear from SVG doing a lot as well. He'll meld up. They've got the vision, that's the question. In fact, well, they're bringing Ramses in, so no one should be fine. He gets charged by 1437. They've already lost the Rubik. Now with the lasso onto Aoi. Omnic Stash coming through. Lots of bounces onto MSS. He has the ult, so he'll be fine for the time being. They managed to take solo. They'll turn with the Fire Blast onto Envy. The Photic Shield allowing him to walk off. No one trying to chase. With the War Cry as well. Envy a little too tanky for no one to deal with. As you know, oh, he looks for the side blades and he finds it though. Oh, your armor ain't going to do anything against the pure damage of that beauty. And now surrounding Aoi. Rams is well. taunting him, kiting him up. Ow, he can he get a kill? He will Not with bad. the Echo Saber, but loses his life as well. No one surviving for it all. And just getting so much done in that fight and just beautiful usage of the side blades. One of the things that Warcry is not going to counter. And uh, you start to see this kind of performance come out. It's one of those things where the ping maybe had a small influence, yeah. but it wasn't the deciding factor no, by no, any means. Because no one is such a good mid laner. Yeah. It, it's always going to be a matchup where the TA wins the CS battle against the Invoker. And uh, with no one, like, I think the player matchup is Envy Strength isn't so much his laning mechanics. It comes, like, strategically in the mid to late game is where he's good. Yeah, and his shot, yeah, his shot but calling. Yeah. yeah, his shot calling is absolutely amazing most, most of the and time. Incredibly entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Oh, SVG. Oh. He's got an invis. They know he's there. They'll pop him out, and that meld not going to work for you. With an Aegis, VP could threaten high ground. They've got the sustain from the uh, healing ward if they bring in the Io plus jump. Get a BKB. Any, I mean, any item is good. It really, with Solo on the team on the Io, it, it feels like he doesn't really need the BKB. Because Solo is there to, to help him out in situations. They've got the vision with the walls down. They see Envy on his own, and that'll allow Pash to get the quick jump yep. and pick off. And it, it, it is just, at this point, incredibly scary for him. Yeah, really, uh, yeah. At this point, it's, there's no obvious best item because you're just so far ahead. It's, any item is good. Anything, it's stats, it helps you push. 
Now we get in the jump in, but immediately the fire blast out in response. He's trying to make a beeline for Solo. Will be able to take down the Io, but the turnaround comes as Ramsey's with the Omni Slash. They're brought down one for three seven. No one takes a double kill. This could start to get messy for MP. No one can he get himself anything more. MSS has the ult. Will back off. There'll be a buyback from one four three seven. And there we have no one jumping in again. Sort of Looking towards MSS. MSS just getting himself away. No one held back by the tornado from Envy again. The charge through with the fire blast stopping at one four three seven. He'll be taken down. He's going to be out for 30 seconds alongside Aoi and no one jumping in for more with the trap slow, pushing them in. MV saved only just by the Aphotic Shield, but MP have forced back the base. No one can he get himself out of this one. He's still got the Aegis, so he'll still be all right. Whatever happens, he's got the backup as Solo. He'll be healed back. In fact, he just jumps in and takes SVG's life. 16 to 5, 20 minutes in. Yeah, the VP not running even, away with He doesn't even have the Manta cell on him. Now no. he finally gets the Manta. He was actually pushing without that net worth. That's, yep. I mean, that's kind of overconfidence from VP, but rightful overconfidence because you they've just walked away with this game. They didn't even need the, the TA to spend like 7K in net worth. The Manta plus 2.5K in the bank was not even spent by no one when they went for this push. It was just a lineup that could not be stopped. <laughs> Oh, man. He died, he died. with Altiot. The, the, the meld burst damage was out. so much that it went over the threshold. While you still, popping his ult. You still That's, heard it. I don't, I don't I mean, know. I mean, I guess the ult must have a bit of a cast point, and uh, he just died before the yeah. cast. But I, know, I like definitely you, heard the dog. If you use, like, a, like <laughs> Laguna Blade or something, yeah. you can burst the Abaddon.